237 is the third American competitor on the uneven parallel bars and Sandy Woolsey followed up with a 9-9 roll. Now let's go back in time to China also in the race for the silver. This is Li Li, 15 years old out of Guangdong province on tape on the floor. And she had a fall on her first tumbling pass, a full twisting double back. Strong in the tumbling, just not as powerful. Whip back due to a double twist. They lack very much in the same difficulty. I spoke to the Chinese coaches. They sent three of their top juniors, so this is China's future right here. We're really hoping to groom them. 1992 in Barcelona. And what better place to do it than the Good Boy Games two years before the start of the Olympic Games. Then she with a double bat. And then, as you can see, as I said, they just don't have the same power or difficulty in their tumbling. And that is her final full exercise, and one of the reasons why the United States seems almost a cinch to take at least a silver. And moments ago, we told you Sandy Woolsey also had a good performance on the unevens. And here is that performance. Americans really did well on the uneven bars, and Sandy is one of the best on this event. Nice high reverse hex. sequence. A half in, half out. It's a full twisting double back flyaway. One of the most difficult dismounts done on the uneven bars now. And done so well. Boy, that put a smile on her face. She's had a little bit of trouble on some of the other events. I think her back's been bothering her some. But what a way to finish for her. She was first in the national championships and she turned it a 9-9. Uh, it was a good fight. Great Nice, that's right. While we await the replay in the vault, the Soviet Union, their final rotation will need 9.8786 to tie and about a 9.9 average to beat the United States. That's ballpark figures. Here's that big release move. Nicely done by Sandy. Showing the requirements, moving from bar to bar. And her dismount, as I said, one of the most difficult done today. Used to only be done by the men off the high bar. A full twisting double back dismount, just that one step on the landing. Well, the Soviets are up in their final rotation. They've got to average 9.8786 to tie the USA, 9-9 to win it. We'll see. Well, the doctor told me that, you know, it can't get any worse. It's not dangerous to go and compete. It'll still have pain, but... You know, there's no risk, really. Did it hurt while you were competing? Did you think about that at all? Well, it hurt a little bit, but once I got out there, it's like that was the last thing I was thinking about. <laughs> I know that you beat Colleen in a, earlier this year. Did that give you any sort of confidence against the Soviets, or do you even think about them when you're out there? Well, you can't really think about, you know, the other performers there because they're not going to have anything to do with your scores, and you don't have anything to do with theirs. <laughs> What about being here in Seattle? This is a terrific crowd. Does it really pump you up when you're out there? Yeah, I really like the crowd. Um, I think it's easier to compete when there's a whole bunch of people behind you. What about your individual performance tonight? Where were you the happiest with? My bars, definitely. Um, that's been my weakest event, and I just went in. I wasn't even. I didn't have very much time to think about it since I came right from the vault, and that's the one I was happiest with. <laughs> terrific. We'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow, Kim. Thanks. Jim? All right, Hannah, and uh, Tatiana Lysenko has already had her first vault, and it is a very good vault. 9 and 9 one, two, better than the average that the Soviet needs to turn in to retain the gold that it won in 1986. And this is Lysenko, and this will be her second vault. But she's already got that 9 9 one, two in the bank. Soviets are also very strong in this event. Yurchenko laid out with a full twist, and boy, you can hardly do it any better than that. 
Beautiful position in the air, like perfectly straight, perfectly together. Perhaps an even better score than the 9-9-1-2 she got on the first ball. Young Soviet women falling in the footsteps or maybe showing the way to the Soviet men. They are so good. This is trademark Soviet style. Perfect form, perfect landing. This is an unusual arm swing on that hurdle. It doesn't hurt her at all. From down on the Ukraine, Tatania Lysenko, 15 years old and... 9.962. That's even better. So they're already ahead of the average. They must need to retain the goal. I wonder if the Soviets could have predicted that it would come down to vault because I was... They're surprised that the girls they selected to go ahead and compete here at the Goodwill Games, but the ones that they chose not to use were having problems on ball. So they probably made a good choice. Natalia Kalina. Another year, Kinko full. Slight little stumble step there at the landing. Now, she also performs this vault with a double twist. I don't know if she's going to perform that here for her second vault. My guess is she will try and improve on the full twist and go for the stuck landing rather than the more difficult ball. John has already completed its rotation tonight. They were going for the bronze, remember, and they still have an outside chance for, no, nope, I think they're going to wind up with the bronze. The question really is the gold and the silver. And see, Jim, that is really good for the Americans. They have not beaten the Chinese lately. They were fourth to them at the recent World Championship in Stuttgart. So that's a tremendous accomplishment here at the Goodwill Games. Lina, her second ball. Oh! oh. They just get better. Just when I think you can't improve on the ball. They improve on the ball. It's absolutely beautiful. And boy, that put a smile on her face. It's usually business as usual for the Soviets, but she even liked that. Look at the form in the air. Toes pointed and just drops it in for a great landing. One more 9-9 nine -nine by either Kubasitna or Boganskaya. And the Soviets will have wrapped up the goal. One thing the Soviets are very good at. When they need the big scores, they can come up with them. 9962 for Kalina. Well, this is what they needed 